Hi, and welcome to Let's Bake and Cook Stuff. Today I'm making oatmeal cookies. I'm just making regular old oatmeal cookies, just like you, the recipe you get off the box. And instead of raisins, though, I'm gonna be using the dried cranberries because I have some and I need to use them up. And other than that, though, I'm just using the basic recipe off of the box. So it's no, it's not, it's, it's not my own recipe like I normally try to do. And we are going to start out with one half a cup of butter. This is one stick. And we're just gonna beat that up with three fourths of a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of granulated sugar. Okay, to our creamed butter and sugar mixture, we're going to add two eggs, room temperature if you can. Oh wait, let me put the vanilla in first and then the eggs. Okay, and now we are going to whisk together one cup of all-purpose flour. This is where I did change it from the original. It's one and a half cups of flour, all-purpose flour in the recipe on the box, but I'm actually putting one cup of all-purpose flour and a half a cup of whole wheat flour, but you can do all all-purpose. One teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And we just want to get those incorporated before we add them to the wet ingredients. I probably put these in the wrong bowl. I probably should have put the whole thing in this bigger bowl. We'll see what happens. Okay. And just as I suspected, I needed to put this in the bigger bowl. Sorry. <laughs> hey, learn from my mistakes. If this is the only mistake I make today, Okay, so now we're gonna add three cups of oats. Now I almost always use the old fashioned oats. I just like the texture of them more. I like the, they ha I think they have more flavor and obviously they're a little more, more nutritious. Not that we're worrying about that while we're eating cookies, but when we're not eating cookies. And uh, these I'm gonna go ahead and stir in by hand. And I usually, if I do use raisins, this is one cup of dried cranberries. I like to use the, um, the golden raisins. And we're just going to get this mixed up and you want it, you know, incorporated. You want all those, all the oatmeal, you know, evenly distributed, all those uh, craisins evenly distributed. Okay, now we're ready. This is all nice and mixed together. You just want to make sure everything's incorporated, evenly distributed. Again, you don't want to have, you know, like 50 raisins in one cookie and, you know, one raisin in the other craisin. So this is a two, my two tablespoon scoop. These get baked for eight to 10 minutes in a 350 degree oven. Now, I just got a new oven yesterday. So uh, actually this one is going to be at 325 in the convection because I'm trying the convection uh, setting on it. But for normal oven, it's gonna be uh, 350 for eight to 10 minutes. Okay, after they cool for two minutes, after taking them out of the oven, you want to put them on a cooling rack. This is a baking rack, a cookie rack, whatever you call it. You're just trying to, you, but you do have to wait a couple of minutes for them to cool first. If you take them off right out of the oven, they tend to fall apart. But if you give them a couple of minutes, and if you wait too long, that's why cooking, uh, baking is, you know, kind of a, a hassle. And some people don't like doing it. Some people who actually like to cook don't like to bake. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot more finicky than actually just cooking. You know, everything has to be measured and it, you know, it has to be precise. But anyway, if you wait too long, they stick back to the pan. <laughs> so, um, and how you can get out of that is stick it back in the oven for like a minute and then let it get hot and then, you know, take them off from there. But anyway, so this was the first batch. They're brown on the bottom slightly and uh, brown around the edges. And is I'm going to do one in the regular oven and one in the convection oven and see how see if they how they compete against each other at the same time i know okay experiment completed they're all done we have uh just under four dozen the box said it makes four dozen uh but this made 40 uh two less than so 46 Two less than four dozen. It depends on how big you make them and, and what all you put in there. If you added nuts to them, you'd actually get more. Of course, you know, it's going to make a bigger volume. 
Anyway, uh, I would say that the convection oven worked the same as the regular oven. Just uh, you do it at a lower temperature, so I guess you're using up less energy. But the cookies turned out the same no matter how they were cooked or baked. And then you can see in here how light and flaky and oh, those are good. And it's just the recipe off the box. All I changed was I added um, a half a cup of whole wheat flour instead, and in place of one a half a cup of the all-purpose flour. But other than that, it's the same one right off the box of the uh, oatmeal. So, but again, I will put the ingredients down in the bottom in the description. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time on Let's Bake and Cook Stuff.